Okay, so here we are on page uh, 220, and we're looking at 1D and 1E. So we want to find stationary points. Stationary points where the slope is equal to zero. And their nature, well, they're either maximums or minimums. So what we got to do is find the derivative here using the power rule. And then when we find our derivative, well, in this case, we're not giving an x and finding a slope. We're given a slope, and now we've got to find an x that matches that. So we're going to solve this like a quadratic. We're going to factor out the 3, and we're going to find out that, whoops, let's do this right. It's going to be 2x minus 3. And then it's going to factor out to be plus 3 minus 1. Our x's are going to be negative 3 and positive 1. There's two stationary points. These are just the x's. In order to find the y's, we've got to plug them back into the original. And you've got to make sure you plug them back into the original function. The original function is where I get the points. The derivative only gives me slopes. And I only plug in x values. So here I go. I get the first one, it's negative 17. I plug in the second one, a 1, that's going to be 15. These are my two points. Now, what I find out if they're a maximum or a minimum, I'm going to use a second derivative. So all i got to do is take the derivative of the derivative. And they're usually pretty easy to do. This one's going to be negative 6 uh, minus 6x. And then I'm going to plug in the x of my stationary point, negative 3. And if it's positive, it'll be a minimum point, and if it's negative, it'll be a maximum point. Well, this one's positive, so we know it's a minimum point. I plug in the other point, the other x, and I find out that it's negative, and so I know that that's a maximum point. Okay, so let's look at the other one. Same situation, though. We have to look for a stationary point, so we're looking for the x's where the slope is zero. We find the derivative, and then what we do is we make the derivative equal to zero because that's the slope we are given when it's a stationary point. We're going to get the x by itself in this case. We take the cube root of both sides, and we find out that our x is going to be negative 1. And then we take our negative 1, plug it back into the original to find out the y value. And we find out the y value is going to be negative 4. And see, now we know our point. It's negative 1, negative 4. And then we take the second derivative, which means take the derivative of the derivative. In this case, it's going to be 12x squared. Well, we don't have to plug any points into this one because there's nothing going to come out of this one except for positive numbers. But go ahead, plug a negative 1 in there. 12 times negative 1 squared, obviously that's going to be positive. So that means this is a minimum point. And we have just discovered what its nature is. It's a minimum. And that's all there is for that. So, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.